Hi guys. Okay, welcome back to Chegu Charles channels. So today, this morning, teacher will show you some magic trick in science subject. Okay. So now here, teacher have three cups. Okay, three the same same cup here, and a bottle of water. Okay. Teacher will add some water into one of this cup. Okay. For example, for this example, teacher will add the water here. Okay. Okay, and then the next step teacher will do is teacher will move the, around the cups. Okay, I want you to look very carefully. Okay, look very carefully. Okay, one, two, three. Teacher will move the cup. Okay. Okay, here we go. Okay, plus. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Adrian. Okay, Adrian, can you guess where is the water now? I think you point it right here, right? Okay. Let us check whether the water is here or not. Okay. Okay. There's no water here. Okay, how about this cup? Also no water. This cup. Also, don't have the water here, so all the cup don't have the water. Okay, that is the trick that teacher want to show to you. Okay, where is the water gone, class? Okay, teacher will explain to you in the end of this video. Okay, class, if you want to know where is the water gone, please wait until the last this last video. Okay. Bye class. Hi class. Okay, we meet again with the Chigu Chal channels. Okay class. Today our topic is about absorption. Okay, absorption. What is the meaning of absorption, class? Okay, first I want you to take out your textbook, your science textbook. Okay, and then turn to page seventy one. Okay. Today you can see that our topic is absorption today. Okay. Okay, what the meaning of absorption class? Absorption material. What is the meaning of absorption? Okay, absorption material is a material which can soak up liquid. Means that's a material which can absorb the liquid. Liquid here means water. Okay, liquid here means water. Okay, okay. Let's say. The question, next question, why do paper towel need to be absorbed? Okay, so that they can soak up spill liquid. Okay, supaya, supaya towel itu, tuala itu boleh menyerap air yang tumpah. Okay, menyerap air yang tertumpah. Okay, why does a bad mat need to be absorbed? So that it can soak up water when you get out of the baths and stop the floor from getting wet. Okay. Why does a towel need to be absorbent too? Okay. So that it can soak up water and help to dry your body. Okay. Okay. What other absorbent material can you find at school or at home? Okay. Maybe around your home. Okay, you can find, for example, your towels, your tissue, okay, your clothes, okay. Uh, all that object can absorb water, okay. So now again, the object around us can classify into two type of object based on absorption, okay. We have water absorption and non-water absorbent. Okay, we have water absorbent and non-water absorbent. Okay, again, meaning here, what is the non-water absorbent? Meaning here, non-water absorbent 
is the material that do not let the water through and do not soak up water okay means that the water cannot go through to the material okay for example this material what is this this is a plastic okay so when the water hits this plastic the water cannot go through inside this plastic okay okay let us see the situation here which object water can absorb the water and which object can repel it repel the water okay means do not let the water through them okay for example we have uh, an object a here is a wood kayu and then b is a paper okay we will try one by one to immerse the water immerse the object into this water kita rendamkan dalam air okay kita akan rendamkan dalam air oh object a is wood okay it's a ice cream stick is made from wood right Okay, and then teacher will immerse here, immerse the ice cream stick, and then teacher will immerse the another object that is uh, object B. Object B, teacher will immerse in the water. Okay, and then after that, teacher take out the object A. Okay. The object A, it cannot let the water through it, through them, okay? Not like object B, when teacher squeeze it, they have a water inside it, okay? Inside, inside the water, flop it, flop into the container, okay? <coughs> Okay, now we answer the question. We answer the question. Okay, okay. According to the activity that teacher have uh, shown you just now. Okay, which object repels water? Okay, which object repels water means which object do not let the water go through them? Okay, I think the answer is this one, right? Ice cream stick. Okay, because it's made from wood. Okay, wood do not let the water get through them. Okay. And then number two, which object observe water? Okay, which one class? The ice cream stick or the paper? Okay, I think your answer is paper, right? A for paper. You see, when I squeeze it, it's still wet and it still flop the water. Okay. Okay. Okay, number three, dust water flow out of the object a when you squeeze it okay when i squeeze when i squeeze the ice cream stick can you see the water come out from the ice cream sticks okay we cannot see we don't see the water come out come flow out from the ice cream stick okay does the object a absorb water okay when it's cannot flow out the water means that this object A cannot absorb water it cannot soak up the water okay now does water flow out of the object B when you squeeze it okay now we squeeze the object B can you see the water flow the water flow from the object B when teacher squeeze it right Okay, so does the object B absorb water? Yes, object B absorb water. Okay, object B is a paper in and it can absorb water. Okay, class. Okay, class, we go back to your textbooks. Okay, I want you to take your textbook, page 72. Okay. In there, you can see our subtopic is water absorbent object and non water absorbent object. Okay, we can classify into two groups 
Okay, is it uh, is it uh, is it a water observant object and then non water observant object? Okay, as you can see in your textbook here, you can read the textbook here and then you can uh, test by your own this uh, simple activity. Okay, follow the step and answer the question. Okay, okay. Now let classify the object. Okay, let classify the object around us. Okay, you can see around your home. Okay, you can see. Okay, all the type of object around your home. For example, your towels. Okay, your clothes. Okay, your tissue or maybe your uh, paper or anything else. Okay, as long as it's not dangerous for you. Okay, so you can. Uh, classifies the object into two groups okay that is water observant and non water observant okay non water observant okay teacher want you to do this activity okay kelaskan objek yang boleh menyerap air dan objek yang tidak boleh menyerap air okay for example here water observant object for example, kitchen paper, mop, and doormat. non observant object, here, example here, glass, metal spoon, and plastic plate. Okay, that is the example for the water observant and non water observant object. Okay, that is our topic today, class. Okay, class. Hi, class. Okay. So teacher promised to you, teacher will be back at the end of this video to show you what happened to the water. Okay, in the beginning of this video, teacher have shown you some magic tricks. Okay, some magic tricks about uh, the disappearing, the disappearing of the water in this cup. Okay, it's only a trick only. It's not a magic. It's a trick. Okay. Okay, you want to know what happened to the water? Okay, semua nak tahu apa yang cikgu buat yang cikgu guna untuk menghilangkan air itu ok ok cikgu rasa kamu akan terperanjat nanti you will surprise what teacher use to this to do these tricks ok are you ready ok tada ok do you know what is this do you know what is this this is a pampers ok this is a pampers that uh, a baby always use an old man always use okay so teacher take the pampers cut it out and then teacher cut in the middle of the pampers and take the cutter inside it and put into the cup okay put into the cup and then okay put into the cup here okay and then teacher pour some water inside it okay okay and then teacher said teacher will move the cup right okay teacher will move the cup Move the cup, okay, to move the cup, 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 move cup, cup, okay, okay. So where is the cup now? So where is the cup with water now? I think you put it here, right? Okay, you see, okay, okay. There's no water inside it, right? Okay. So now here is no water. There is no water. So. Here is water. Why? Because teacher have put the cotton from the campus. Okay. Okay. So that is the trick. Okay. Okay, class. Are you happy now? Okay. Do you know the. You know. You know how the trick now. Okay. Okay, class. That's all. I think that's all for our class today. Teacher hope you enjoy and have fun with teacher class today. Okay, teacher hope you can uh, follow teacher video, follow teacher class and understand what is teacher learn, what is teacher teach to you today. Okay, so if anything you can uh, cannot understand, okay, you cannot clear about our topic today, you can uh, as usual message, you can message teacher, or you can email teacher, or you can call teacher, you can WhatsApp teacher, okay. Plus, I hope you uh, have a very have a nice day today. Okay, so 
拜拜。